Welcome back to Tennessee Prep Weekly. I am Josh Cummins. And guys, it is now the fourth week, or you can say a month into this football season, and things are starting to heat up around the league. Tonight we have two teams looking for a win. One team is undefeated so far, and the other isn't looking so good. But, as we all know, football is always full of surprises. And who knows, there might be one here tonight. The teams we have here tonight are from Nashville. The first one, the one and two Independence Eagles. Be sure to watch out for their quarterback who had a huge game last week, Joseph Cummings. And the home team from Harrisonville, your three and O Pope John Paul Knights. Be sure to watch out for their quarterback, Kenny Manchi, who has been doing really well all season and he is looking to go four and O tonight. These teams are coming off wins and who knows, they both want to get their streak going here tonight again. Well guys, enough of me. Let's get the highlights going. Run them. Paul John Paul got the ball to start the first quarter against Independence. And Kenny Mitch is going to get the snap. Throw it on a slant to Connor Cook. He's going to scramble out of a tackle. Stiff arm one guy. And he's going to run into the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. Paul John Paul leads 7-0. On the very next possession, Independence will have the ball. And you'll have Justin Cummins in the shotgun right here. And he passes it to number 8, Jake Rummel, who gets by a guy and another guy. And he's going to take it all the way down the sideline. The 30, the 20, the 10. They're not going to catch him. Touchdown, Independence. Well, they will tie the game up 7-7 seven to seven in the first quarter. Kenny Minchie hands the ball off to Elijah Robb. And it's a fake. And he's going to throw it to a wide open Stephen Carter in the back of the end zone. And the Knights will go up 14-7 in the first quarter. Independent is looking to come to that 14-10 lead with a field goal. And Sam Hinkie will make it from 32 yards out. Pope John Paul got the ball and Kenny Minchie is in the shotgun. He's going to throw it to number 10, Con Cook. He's going to fight off one dude. And the other guy is going to tackle him into the end zone. And Pope John Paul will go up 21-10. Independence has the ball on the... 15 yard line they're looking to respond we have just cummins and he th throws to a wide open receiver he's going to go all the way untouched the 40 the 30 the 20 the 10 nobody's going to catch him touchdown and that is river katina and he will cut into that lead 21 to 17. all right the knights will get the ball back and minchie's in the shotgun and he's going to hand it to rob and he's going to toss it back for a flea flicker and wide open is patrick collins he's going to cut back inside he's going to get grabbed by down by a guy down at the six yard line but on the next play elijah rob will get the ball and he will run it into the end zone for the touchdown the Knights are looking to score again, and Kenny Minchie in the shotgun. He's going to pass it to Colin Cook, who got blockers out in front, and he's looking to score, and he runs it in his own for the touchdown for the Knights. Independence looking to score, and we got Cummins in the shotgun. He's going to hand it off to Brooks Pone, and he gains a couple. But on the next play, Jack Rum was wide open downfield, and he will get the 75-yard touchdown pass from Cummings. What a play. Alrighty, Pope John Paul has the ball, and Kenny Minchie, he's going to do an option play. Oh, and he fakes it, and he sees nothing but green grass from here in, into the end zone, and he will get his first rushing touchdown of the night. Independence has the ball on the one-yard line, looking to score, and Joseph Cummins is going to get the snap, handed off to Trey Hartwood, and he will run into the end zone for his first touchdown of the night. All right, the Knights are on the 35-yard line to score, and Kenny Minchie's going to get the ball, and he's going to throw a long pass all the way to Colin Cook, wide open in the end zone. What a play. Touchdown, the Knights, and that'll put the ice on the cake for them. Independence looking to score one last time, and Just Cummins passes to a wide open in the corner. Jack Rummel, and that will be the final score of the game. Alrighty guys, well here's the stats for you today. Unfortunately, I can only give you Pope John Paul stats because Independence did not send me theirs and they're not on the website. And the only stats I can give you are the rushing yards, the score, the passing yards, and the receiving yards. So the score was 56 to 38 in favor of Pope. Uh, rushing yards, uh, 275 for Pope John Paul. And receive, passing yards, 363. Nothing for independence on anything but the score. Receiving yards, 363 yards also. And I have nothing for the turnovers or penalties. So, unfortunately, that's all I can give you all for the stats. Um, here is an interview I got with Kenny Minchie, the Pope John Paul quarterback. 
We're at Pope John Paul tonight, and I'm Josh Combs for Pope Weekly. I'm here with uh, Pope John Paul's quarterback, M Mr. Minchie here. Just give me your thoughts about the game tonight and uh, about your performance. Um, well, this was a good 6A opponent. I felt like um, we had a pretty good week of preparation heading into this game. But um, definitely things we need to clean up. Could have did a lot better, but we obviously came out with the win. So You had – a lot of passing touchdowns, and you had that running touchdown. Yes, you, you said you had preparations. What preparation did you do to, uh, to for this team tonight? Um, just like doing what we do every single week, just trying to do every little thing right, and um, it worked itself out. So uh, last year, it was obviously a huge, huge COVID thing that was going on, yeah. and compared to this year, and you got fans back. I know. Tell me what that means. Tell me what that means to football now for y'all. I know. Yeah, it's crazy having like uh, we played Father Ryan last week, our rival, and uh, it was like the most tickets sold in like school history for wow. a football game. So yeah, it was pretty crazy having all the fans back. To get pretty amped up. Got, gotcha, gotcha. So y'all, y'all got a game next week. Yes, sir. What do y'all got to do to prepare for them? Um, well, tonight we're just gonna celebrate. Cause you know you gotta you gotta enjoy football, <laughs> but uh, yeah, starting tomorrow we're gonna start watching film on Baylor, who's our next opponent, going down to Chattanooga. They're a uh, good D two three A team in our district, so we definitely gotta have a good week of preparation for them. How's it feel to be four and zero, still and undefeated? <laughs> feels great. Feels great. Ready to keep it going. Well, man, you have a good rest of your season, four and zero, and continue to get that success you have a good rest of your night man yes, sir. well guys like i said last week i hope y'all had a good labor day and came back to football this week um pope john paul came with the win tonight and they won by 18 good luck to independence for the rest of the season they go down to one and three pope john paul goes to four and oh and uh big games come, coming up for both teams hopefully they can win them and that's all i got for y'all tonight y'all have a good rest of y'all's day until next time enjoy y'all's weekend